everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I don't have my sidekick with me tonight. So, it's just you and me. And um, I'm going to talk about chickens tonight, because that's what is on my mind. I still have that rooster that doesn't let Louise come out of the house. She does come down to eat which is good and then I always give her a little extra treat because I feel bad for her but anyways we're gonna talk about I'm gonna show you so a couple little videos one will be where the fence has moved I was trying to catch Jim do it but he did it so fast that it was done before I knew it but I will show you where he put the fence because I said that we need to move it because the grass for whatever reason underneath the chickens turns really brown and then there's a lot of other green grass that they could be having so he moved it and hopefully the grass will green up again with them not being on it I was going to try to catch Jim moving the fence for the chickens but I missed it they're all out here in this green area now it's amazing how the, the lawn gets so brown where they're at. All of them are out here except for Silver Fox and Louise is not out here. And there's Big Pretty Boy. See all the rest of them he likes, but apparently he doesn't like Louise. It's sort of sad. Did you just lay an egg maybe? Is that why you're late to the party? Louise is, is still sitting in the... Come on out, Louise. I wish she would come out. I don't know what he'll do. You're talking to me, huh? Go join the party. You're such a big girl. Go, go, go. And there's no eggs in here. Louise, you need to go out and join them in the grass. Yes, you do. I'll clean your water. I gotta clean your house, too. Right now it's everything is mud. Oh, it is so much mud out there. When you walk out, you if you if you don't have the right shoes on, you would come in and you would have to clean your shoes off. You'd have to wash them off. And I put my boots on, and it's squishy when you go out there. So our plan is to fix the ground in front of the chicken. I've got a list of things because I don't want to forget anything. We're gonna fix the the plan is to fix the ground in front of the chicken chicken run because right now it's really muddy and Jim goes we couldn't put any seat down because as soon as you put seat down the chickens would be eating it so we're going to put there's um, some pine pellets I think they're called and they use them in horses stalls and other places I don't know exactly but they're supposed to absorb the moisture and then on top of those pine pellets we're going to put wood chips so that the the chickens will be i'm sure kicking it around and moving it around because they do everything that we put there they spread it out the chickens do the work and if you've noticed a lot of the homesteading things when they put the chickens in their gardens they don't they they um are digging it up for them and spreading things around so that it's that's what they do okay then i um also gave my little louise i soaked some um, mealworms I had heard somebody say about soaking mealworms and you know they looked alive but they weren't they were just the dry ones but it gave them color and they did look different I will show you a little video of that too this is what I'm bringing out to Louise look at those I soaked some mealworms these are the dry ones but I decided to soak them I heard somebody else say they soak theirs so I thought well I'll soak mine now we're going to go out and give these to her.
Hi, Louise. Look what I have for you. Ooh. She said that was tasty. Hmm. You can have them all. Here, I'll give you all of them. There you go. She says, oh, these are tasty. You get special treatment because that darn rooster doesn't like you. But I like you. There you go. Enjoy, sweet girl. Then I fed them to her. I brought them out to her. And she was really enjoying those mealworms. Also, I'm going to show you my little broody hen. I have one little hen that is broody. This is Silver Fox. I don't know how many eggs she's sitting on because she won't let me look. She snaps at me. She's not very nice, but she's a very protective little mama. I have a bantam hen. My little silver fox, what a name for a hen, but that's what her name is. I call her silver fox. And um, she's gone broody. And I was going to look to see how many eggs she had under her, and she was snapping. She's not very nice. She's like another Emma. Emma's mean when she's broody, and this one's just as mean. So I waited till she got off the nest, and when I went to look, there was another hen sitting on her nest. But it was one of my older birds, and so I kind of looked underneath, and I found five eggs. But I took the bigger eggs out because I know those are the ones that must have just been laid because they were from uh, from the um, Buff Orpingtons is what they were. And then the one was a white egg, and that was from the little black hen with the white ears. And so I knew those were not the bantam eggs, but so I left the three that were under there and I marked them so I know which eggs they are. But she was sitting on the ground, staring at the bird that was sitting on her nest. So she's really gone broody. So maybe we're gonna have early spring. She's thinking that she wants to hatch out chicks and the chicks would hatch out towards the end of March. It would be 21 days from yesterday that they would hatch. Um, and so that's how long they have to sit. And so I marked the eggs and I have a broody hen and I did mealworms and we moved the fence and we want to fix the ground. I guess that's it for today. There is no jollies because I don't have a face over there smiling at me. So that's it. He's going to be working, in case you're wondering where he is, he's going to be working second shift for a little while. They have some machines that He's one of the people that knows how to run them, and if they have trouble with it, he can set it up. And it, these are computerized machines, so um, he's going to be run it for uh, till this job is done, and that would be just maybe a couple days, and then he'll be back on days again. But um, they almost didn't want to put him on that shift because he's so needed on the day shift. But you can only be just one place at one time, and he works a lot of hours lot more hours than the company pays him because he is salary. Now, if he was hourly and worked all these hours, he would cost the company a fortune. That's it for today. I don't have anything more, so I will talk to you all again tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. Bye.